JT with Carryology here, and it's the awards show, the Carry Awards. And in my little neck of the Carry Awards, we're going to talk about these guys, the camera bags. So without further ado, let's talk about the five best camera bags released in 2022. So the first one we're going to talk about is Bellroy's Venture Camera Sling 10 liter. It's a lovely sling. There is a pocket up here in the front. The pocket also includes a couple of slip pockets, water resistant YKK zipper, both on this pocket and on the main compartment. It's one of those shiny types, if you can see that. Really love the zipper pulls on this guy. You can see the zipper pull there. Strap is very comfortable. It actually detaches like so. It's got some metal components there to keep it sturdy. I found this a bit finicky, but works quite well once you get used to it. Very minimal branding, just the Bellroy logo right here. This is Bellroy's uh, proprietary ripstop nylon. I believe it's a fully recycled material. And uh, yeah, overall it's very nice. It's a 10 liter sling, as I mentioned. Um, if you look at the main compartment here, there are two dividers in the main compartment. So you can see one there, one there, and one there. Just about the right size for like a camera and uh, a lens or two, depending on how you want to roll. On the sides here, there are a couple of little uh, elastic-y pockets. And there is one slip pocket here, or sorry, one uh, zippered pocket here. Uh, inside the zippered pocket, there are one, two, three little elastic-y guys where you can put batteries or something like that. I really like that they put the double zipper here, the one on each side. Bellroy Venture Sling, 10 liter, very, very cool. I dig it. The second bag on our list is this one. This is the Waterfield Cargo um, for cargo bag for DSLR. Uh, this is the canvas and leather version. It actually comes in a compact version, which is this, and a full, uh, this one being the compact. Um, you can also get it in a variety of materials. I think it also comes in 1050D ballistic nylon. But like I said, as you see here, this is the waxed canvas and leather. So many pockets on this guy. So many attachment points. Strap is very nice. The strap attaches with this metal hardware here. The kind of um, claim to fame of this bag is how easy it is to access. So uh, the zipper goes full around and it opens this away. So as you're wearing the sling, very easy to get in, get your camera, take a photo, camera back in. Uh, the camera cube or attachment is actually removable with these two magnetic things. Also, you can see them here. So you could rock this bag just as a regular bag if you didn't want to use the camera. Or even cooler, what you could do is use this as a camera cube in another bag. The divider in this bag is non-removable, just like that Bellroy. You can have it on either side, depending if you want your bigger camera here, your lens here, or whatever. Um, it floats pretty good back and forth. On the opposite side of the inside, lots of zippered compartments where you can store your batteries or whatever. This bag is made in the USA, made very, very well right there in San Francisco, uh, AquaGuard YKK zippers. They are very smooth. I don't know if you can feel that. This leather flap actually flips up via magnet. And uh, there's one little slip pocket here. You can see the gusset there. Zippered pocket in the front that feeds into that gusset. So it will kind of ride up off the front of the bag. But overall, I really enjoyed my time with this bag. Um, one thing I will say is that it works great as a camera cube. So essentially you clip these two guys off like so. And this compact one especially is a very nice compact camera cube for the inside of your bag. You can even leave it open like this and then just uh, open camera out, click, click camera back in and then put it inside a bigger bag. That is the Waterfield Cargo. Very cool. Dig it. The next one is from Wotencraft. Now this is the Wotencraft Scout 9 liter. Honestly, this is one of my favorite bags I've ever used. I really love Wotencraft stuff. I dig their aesthetic. It's a very, very cool bag. The material is a 500D Cordura 6.6 nylon, which they call tear proof. It's also waxed. So it gets a bit of a patina. There's a handle on the back, just as you see that. Also, there is a 
aged cowhide leather throughout. It's a really nice fit and finish on this guy, handmade in Taiwan. This is a nine liter bag. Um, it actually feels a bit bigger than that, or I find when I'm using it, I felt like it felt, or I felt like it, you know, acted a little bit bigger than that. Access is uh, through these two kind of belt buckle thingies here, flip up, you end up with this. Two pockets here on the front. These two pockets have all of their own volume, so you can see that. Uh, tons of space to throw whatever you might want to throw. And then the main compartment looks something like this. Quite simple. There's a laptop sleeve in the back where a 13 inch MacBook Air will fit no problem at all. Anything bigger than that, definitely not going to fit. There's actually a zipper on the back here that gets you directly into that gets you directly into that laptop sleeve so you don't have to worry too much about um, trying to peel this flat back, which would be next to impossible in most cases. Um, it's all like kind of hook lined, so you can move everything around as ever you want. I actually have a, uh, like a Alpha 1.9er thing that I stuck on here during my use of it. Very smooth AquaGuard YKK zips, very similar to the one on the or the ones on the Waterfield earlier. There is a zipped pocket on the back here. It's kind of just a flat pocket, but goes all the way down to the bottom. Bag is fully padded. There is a luggage pass through here that you can pass your luggage through. The strap is very nice. It comes off, or this kind of padded part comes off. This is some kind of scuba diving material, I heard, and. Uh, it was very comfortable and very cool in my use. Really dig it. Wotencraft Scout 9 liter. This one is the Guru Gear Kiboko City Commuter 18 liter plus. The plus comes from this roll top that I'll show you first. The roll top is held together with magnets. And if you see the inside, you've got some organization, place to put your camera or whatever, and a couple of mesh pockets like that. The material here is VX21 X-Pack from Dimension Polyant. Very nice material, will hold up well. I guess Guru Gear is kind of known for these two front pockets. Um, this is quite common in most of their designs. So if you see the pockets flip open and you have all kinds of organization on both sides. YKK zippers throughout. Actually different style organization on this side, but even a key ring, key leash. I found those pockets to be really useful. Um, they don't have much of their own volume, but uh, I use them quite a bit during my time using this bag. Side of the bag has a water bottle pocket that's quite smartly designed pops off like that with magnets that holds it tight. There's also a uh, compression strap here. This is actually not to compress the bag at all. It's just to hold like a uh, tripod if you have it in here. There is access to the inside here where your camera could be. So that gives you some quick access to your camera. The straps were comfortable in use. There is a sternum strap that is uh, Fidlock, the same Fidlock that's on the top here. Very nice carry handle, nothing too special, but good enough. Straps, well padded, dense, feel good. Back panel has this raised padding here, a pass-through for your luggage, and then another kind of lumbar support down on the bottom. The main compartment of the bag is accessed through the back here. It's a clamshell opening design. You have some mesh pockets here, laptop compartment here, and all of these dividers. Now, I don't have them set up now because I carry very little camera gear, so I just had it set up so that it was quick access to my camera through the side pocket on this side. And uh, the, I heard these are, they use the same kind of foam that motorcycle helmets use, and it's, it's very nice, it feels very dense. This is the inside of that top roll top compartment there, and other than that, not a whole lot going on. You can configure this bag however you'd like. So there it is, the 18 liter plus Kiboku City Commuter Pack from Gura Gear. So I had to adjust the angle for this bag because it's so huge. This is the Boreal 50 liter from Polar Pro of the Filter Fame. This bag is so unbelievably intense, I'm not even sure where to start. 
But I will start with the material is a 600D um, polyester with a DWR coating. It's like, it's like almost like waterproofy filling. It's, it's held up really well in my use and I think it's something that's gonna hold up for a long time. The whole bag is so unbelievably intense. Zippers everywhere as you can see. Uh, one here, quick access, another quick access here, another quick access here. Just all over the place you have quick access. The laptop compartment of this bag is up here on the front. Goes into here. That's the laptop compartment. The most massive laptop can fit here. You have a giant gaming laptop, this thing, it will take it, it'll take whatever. The bag is 50 liters as I said. Uh, they say it's like 30 something in the main and then another 15 or something up top. It's, it's, it's a big, big bag. Like you gotta be going on some serious adventure and taking all of your camera gear to wanna have this bag, but that's what it's built for. The straps are very comfortable. They are adjustable like just with these load lifters. They, they don't go up and down. The, there's no like yoke system that you can adjust, but they are very comfortable and very nice. I, I was able to adjust it perfectly fine for me. Huge hip belt, which has some uh, more quick access pockets on it here. And I kept that on because it's a gigantic bag, but you can take it off if you really need to. There's some Velcro down there. There are handles, one handle here, two handles here on the sides. Another one down here on the bottom of the bag. Also a place to hang the bag here or to attach something. There are compression straps all over this bag. So there's one here, two here, another two here, or sorry, another one there, and another two on this side. There are big, very big water bottle pockets, as you can see. They are very stretchy. We'll take a massive water bottle, both sides for those. On this side of the bag, which is the left side of the bag, uh, there is quick access into here where you could put your camera if you need to, if you wanna get at your camera more quickly. And then the rest of the access is either through this roll top, which gives you a bunch more space. And then that gives you a uh, look into the main there's like a zippered compartment there so you can stop things from going all the way down or you can, you know, use it as one giant bag if you want. This bag uses YKK hardware. So these are YKK buckles and then of course YKK zippers. Huge number 10 YKK here on the back. The back opens clamshell and it does something I, I really like. I don't know what this does for the longevity of bags, but I like the fact that like the straps don't get in the way of this clamshell opening. So it goes like this. Now I put these here in some plastic so it wouldn't scratch because I was using the bag as a kind of travel bag without them. But uh, there are so, so many, so many. I just wanted to show you like that's what comes with this bag. Um, they are very, very well padded and uh, some of the most intense feeling camera dividers I've ever seen. This is the flap that separates the top from the bottom. And yeah, the inside is hook lined or loop lined, sorry, all the way around. One, two, three zippered pockets on the back here. They are the same material as the water bottle pocket and a little bit of a branding there. If you're like a hardcore adventurer, this thing is, is really nice. So that is the Boreal 50 liter from Polar Pro. So that's it for me, JT from Carryology. Those are the five camera bags from the Carry Awards that will be voted on to see what's the best camera bag of 2022. So choose wisely, kids. They're all very, very nice. I'm very excited to see what you pick. I love them all. Talk soon. Bye-bye.